when 19-year-old Zagreb resident Maren Silic captured his maiden ATP singles title at New Haven, he became the eighth first-time winner this year. Silic, who joined the ranks of the ATP in 2005, said it was one of his goals this season to play in a final. He says to actually win was icing on the cake. The young Croatian, who moved to a career high of 24 in the South African Airways ATP rankings, says he favours no particular surface, but considers his backhand his strength. While Marin showed promise last year by finishing in the top 100 for the first time, 2008 has certainly seen him hit his strides. He reached the semi-finals in Chennai at the beginning of 2008, but lost to Russian Mikhail Yuzhny, who went on to win the tournament. Marin also made it to the fourth round of the Australian Open, but succumbed to the more experienced James Blake. At Wimbledon, he defeated Jaco Niminen and Paul Henri Mathieu to make it through to the fourth round, but lost in straight sets to Arnaud Clement. In Toronto in July, he defeated big serving American Andy Roddy to reach the quarterfinals, his best result so far at an ATP Masters series. However, perhaps his best performance in a Grand Slam was recently at the US Open, where he tested Novak Djokovic before losing in four sets. and the match and uh, how I played, of course, and depends also on the opponent. And, but usually it's, uh, I'm very sad first 15, 20 minutes and then I, of course, have a conversation with my coach and uh, we talk about what happened in the match and what we need to improve. And, uh, of course, that helps me a lot because uh, I know that uh, also the losers are also the part of the, of the career and uh, with that you, you are improving much more and you can see what are the things that you need to improve easier and then when you win the match. Well, it doesn't help me at all because uh, it happens, but I'm uh, getting experienced in that and uh, trying to, to make the things better and to, to stay in the match as, as focused as I can. Favorite, uh, not yet, but uh, I like to, to play in Croatia and it always helps me with, uh, with the crowd and uh, we also have, I mean, two, two ATP tournaments, one in Zagreb and one in Umag, so I always enjoy to play at home. Uh, well, of course, uh, performance of Djokovic and also Federer's performance because he he continued to play very good and uh, he deals with, uh, with big tournaments uh, very good. And, but I think Djokovic is also there and uh, he's making uh, much bigger uh, pressure than, than before and uh, it's more competitive now. Well, I'm not uh, spending a lot of time with my family, so each time I have some, uh, some days off, I always go home and uh, to, to be with them and uh, the perfect, perfect holiday would, of course, be with, uh, with family on, in some, uh, on the, some island in Croatia. Yeah.